Hey, and welcome to this tutorial. The triangulate and quadrangulate tools are pretty easy to get your head around. The first turns your mesh into triangles and the other tool turns your mesh into quads. In this tutorial, I'm gonna go over my main use cases for these tools, but I'm pretty sure you can think of many others. If you would like to follow along, the Maya files are available through the VFX Fuel membership on my Gumroad. Joining the membership not only gives you access to some cool perks, but it also helps the channel out too. Say you have a model and you're rushed for time. And on that model, you have some details tucked away and not an area of focus. And on these details, you have some engons, which you've not had time to clean up, but you're pressed for time and you need to submit. Usually in a pipeline, it doesn't like engons. So there's a quick way to ensure you pass the checks. Go ahead and make a selection on the faces you need to fix. I have a tutorial on how to make quick selections of all your faces which have more than four sides, which you can check out if you want. So we've made the selection. All we need to do is go to Mesh, Triangulate. Now this end gone is Triangles. So if we go to Mesh, Quadrangulate, we now have Quads. I'm not recommending doing this, but if it's a small, tiny thing on a massive robot, for example, this method would probably suffice and wouldn't be a problem at all. Again, the Maya files are available through the VFX Fuel membership on Gumroad if you would like to follow along. Joining the membership not only gives you access to some cool perks, but it also helps the channel out too. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, hit the like and subscribe buttons. Come chat with me on the Discord and I'll see you in the next video.